Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel, Angel Lives. So how is everybody doing on this Sunday? I hope that everybody is having a good weekend or has had a good weekend. We know it's back to work tomorrow. So you guys, today, you know, Sundays is relationship talk. And you guys, I just want to say, I really appreciate those of you who take the time to comment and to give me feedback on the topics that I bring on Sundays regarding relationships. Also, I just want everyone to know I'm not bitter. I'm not down on marriage. I'm not out here campaigning against marriage. That is not what I'm doing. I just, I kind of like to just see how people think and kind of get, you know, get feedback on it and see where um, everyone's head is when it comes to marriage. Because we know that marriage is important to many people. Some people will say it's not, but it is. But this week, I thought I would bring a more positive, um, positive vibe. Um, my last video was more in terms of reasons why people don't get married. But I wanted to bring you the top five reasons that people do get married. And of course, people feel like the obvious reason is because you want to and you're in love. Well, sure. You know, but... You know, it could be it could be a little more than that. And, it, you know, but but let's dive into this. So this is the top five reasons or five great reasons to get married. Now, y'all know I use Google and I do I use different websites to kind of come up with things. So I am actually looking at the uh, laptop. So if you see me looking to my left, it's because I'm looking at the laptop. So let's start with the first one. And before I get too far into this video, please give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe, hit the bell to be notified. So you will know whenever I drop a new video on Sunday, if that's your preference. All right, let's get into it. So number one, you deeply trust this person. One of the most important aspects of a strong, happy and successful marriage is trust. Yes. I agree. You deeply trust them enough to give them your heart is how I look at it. And I'm a bit of a romantic and I feel like when you're in a relationship and you really trust someone, you give them your whole heart. You don't just give them part of it. You give them your whole heart and you trust them to take care of it. So yeah, I'm, I feel that. You fight fair. I didn't really understand the you fight fair. <laughs> I thought that was kind of strange. Like, what do you mean you fight fair? Um, you're a fair person, I guess, or the other person is a fair person. I mean, you both have to have, um, a level of fairness to, um, want to enter into a marriage and make it work. So, okay. Um, you spend a good amount of time together. Of course, everyone, you want to get to know someone before you marry them. However, there are people that, um, may not have known each other very long before they got married. They may have never even met. It could be an arranged marriage and and it's successful. It works out. It worked out for them. So I say with this one, you, it, it is good to get to know someone before you enter into a marriage. However, sometimes I feel like there's relationships that there's marriages that have been, people have been married a, decades and they got married after knowing each other for two weeks. So I feel like it, it's based on the individual couple and how you feel. I mean, if you fall fall in love fast and you want to go ahead and tie the knot, go with the flow. Do what feels right to you. Um, number four, you know this person on a deeper level. Okay, now with this one, <laughs> you can know someone very well and have the marriage not work out. But I mean, I guess that would be a reason that you want to marry this person because you feel like the connection that you both have is very deep and, you know, you're really into them. And so you feel like, oh yeah, I know everything about him or I know everything about her. I know what they like. I know what they dislike. I know their favorite things. I know their least favorite things. I know how they move. I know how, you know, how they do things in their life. I know that they're financially responsible, all these types of things, but then you get married and it's like, I did not see that. <laughs> So I don't know. I, I don't know if you can ever really know everything about someone before you, before you marry them. Sorry, you guys, I'm adjusting. Uh, but yeah, I don't, I don't feel like you can um, really know everything about a person 
you're going to know some things. I feel like as long as you know the important things, like how they feel about having children, how they feel about um, certain things, like are you like, like your possibly your um your faith things like that you want to make sure that you're compatible on that level on those levels but you can't know everything but you know i guess if you feel like you know them deep enough then going ahead and getting married would be the obvious thing to do the last one now we're going to elaborate on this one because this one changes i feel that the, it can change after you get married you want the same things. We've all seen where you enter into a relationship and you know how like maybe the uh, discussion of children has come up and they say, oh, yeah, I want children. I, I can't wait to be a mom or I can't wait to be a dad. And, and you know, um, you know, this is going to be great and we're going to be great parents and so on and so forth. And then you get married and somewhere along the line, things start to change. Like maybe your plan that you talked about before the marriage was, you know, um, we both wanted kids and we said we would, we would start trying to have a family after we've been married a year or we or after two years and then two years rolls by and y'all still ain't ain't you know concerned about having kids and and one person is wanting it and the other person is kind of like yeah no <laughs> i changed my mind i don't really want kids i'm not into it that can be a huge um a huge thing in a marriage it can actually end the marriage so i would say really <sighs> I know that that circumstances and different situations can change how people feel about things. But when you say you want the same things, you have to be very certain that you really do want the same things because you don't want it to be a situation where you thought you did and then you didn't. Like maybe one person, you enter into the marriage and you both have agreed, we don't want kids. We are not having kids. We are not kid people. We want to travel. We want to live our lives freely. We don't want to be responsible for anything else, for anyone else. We don't even want any pets. That's not us. That's not our thing. But then you get into that marriage and you start seeing your friends around you popping out babies and you kind of feeling like, Mm, you having some some maternal or paternal pulls happening there and it's like oh wait <laughs> maybe I'm not okay with not having kids and but this is something that we both said we wanted so I kind of feel like with that one you got to leave it open. You just got to leave certain things open. You may want the same things as far as, okay, we know we want to buy a home. We know we want to travel. We know where we want to live. Um, we know what, like what, what we want to do within our relationship. We, we want the same things as far as a successful marriage and to be financially sound. But there are certain things that I feel like you could want it when you enter into the marriage, but then once you get into the marriage, you no longer want the same thing. So that one, I feel like when it comes to bigger situations, like having kids, even buying a home, because there's people who feel like home buying is not necessary and they feel like it's, you know, it's too, too much of a hassle. That's something that you really need to maybe leave it open because you never know when your mind could change. So, but I feel like it's, you know, these are, these are good reasons to get married. You, you deep, there's deep trust there. You're both fair people. You've spent a lot of time together. You really know each other. You know them on a more personal, deeper level than anyone else that, that they've ever been with or that they, they know you better than anyone so, okay. And the last one, you want the same things. So I feel like these are all good reasons to get married. And of course, like I said in the beginning, the obvious when you love them, you're in love and you want to spend your life with them. So you guys go ahead and drop me a comment and let me know what you think of these five great reasons or top reasons to get married. And I appreciate you guys. Please give this video a thumbs up, hit that subscribe, hit the bell to be notified. And I will talk to y'all later. Bye.